We are assuming that there are two immune cutworms on each plant at any given time. Because if we do not assume this, there would be 5.65 times 10 to the power of 10 immune cutworms by the end of 180 days. It will be highly improbable to solve the problem of cutworms. Also, we will be using the middle value of the values provided as it is an estimate as it is unlikely to get the actual value. A fixed value in this case would help in the further calculation. Assuming that initially the number of cutworms is 6, the number of immune cutworms is 2, the number of non-immune cutworms thus will be 4. The growth of worms is an exponential function as the worms grow at a rate of 10% per day. Hence, NIC is equals to 4 e to the power of negative kt, whereby NIC is the number of non-immune cutworms, k is the constant, and t is the number of days. In order to derive the equation, we decided to take the values on the first day. On the first day, the number of non-immune cutworms is 4.4, based on the 10% growth per day. Through this, we can sub in the values of t equals to 1 and nic equals to 4.4. By going through a series of logarithmic functions, we can derive k, which is negative 0.09531. Thus, nic equals to 4e to the power of 0.09531t. We want at least 40% of the plants to survive. Assuming that the chance of the plants dying is 2%, we can only spray a maximum of 45 times derived by log base 98% 40%. Since we want a net gain of weight, the total weight gain must be higher than the total weight lost. Assuming that the total weight gain in one plant in one day is 1.1 grams, and assuming that the weight loss due to one worm in one day is 0.055 grams, the maximum number of worms that can be present in a day for there to be no net change in weight is 20 worms. Let capital T be the number of cut worms and N be the number of days. Using compound interest, our principal value is 7 over 10 times of capital T as 70% of worms survive the first round of spraying pesticide. Using a simple log function, N equals to 3.74225. Thus, we know that we need to spray one round of insecticide every 3.74225 days to not have a net change in number of cutworms. And so, the pesticide should be sprayed every 3 days and 17 hours. Let C be the number of worms after N days, and Y be the total weight loss. C equals to 4 times 1.1 to the power of N plus 2. The total weight loss in the 15.781th day is equals to 0 0.22 times 1.1 to the power of 1 plus 1.1 to the power of 2 plus 1.1 to the power of 3 all the way to plus 1.1 to the power of 15.781. And we add 0 0.11 times 15.781 which will give us 10.415 grams. After 3.7425 days, the total weight loss is equals to 3.29595 grams. Since there is a total of 43 cycles of spraying, the total weight loss over 180 days is equal to 3.29595 times 43 plus 10.415, which gives us 152.1408. The number of plants that will survive is 1000 times 98% to the power of 44 which will give us 411 plants. The total net weight gain is equal to 198 minus 152.141 plus 10 times 411, which will give 229.58.049 grams.